Alright guys, welcome back to our Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play. As you can see, we have set up our wonderful little army that we have here. So, I went ahead and went through the all of the items and the spells that we had in our spellbook, and I saw that we have a lot of elixirs that we have literally never used. And so I put them on. Raya has like a, a poison thing on right now. Uh, I guess you can't really see it. But while I was going through the through our inventory, I found out something really interesting. We still have this bomb. Um, and so I'm kind of keen to use it, but I did just make a save file like right here. So I'm willing to like not use the bomb because I, I, I just want to see like how our team does. But if we lose again, I I will be using the, the bomb just for just for shits and giggles. Keep going. The mother superior is expecting me. And this is this is Shadowheart's freaking genie. And this is this is the genie fully buffed up and all the ghouls fully buffed up by beast and aid. All that jazz. So we get to see the good stuff. The sea. Um. Okay. So I think it would be cool if we probably separated our people here. I don't know when she aggroes. I'm gonna take Lazelle and Shadowheart over here. No father. Or you'll find yourself sporting a new hole in your torso. Okay, never mind. Destined to lose it. Candles will gutter. Yeah, we can still send them over here. The stars will dim. No Don't test me. I think maybe we should set Gale right here. Lead us so I'm thinking our reward. we could probably do no something like this. Loss. No salvation without sacrifice. Lady Shah smiles upon our endeavors. Hmm. I guess that doesn't work. We can Each set a wall here. Has suffered in your own way and sought out the Night Singer. The gift of loss will soothe all woes. But only for those who deserve it. Works. Assure your place at her side. Serve her to your last breath, and you shall have no fear of. We can death. only create this. There wall. is no fear, but the fear of failing the Night Singer. Lady Shah watches our every step. Lady Shah's kind of darkness thing. awaits us all. But how shall you meet it? When the time comes, shall you be you embraced this by the dark with this. or devoured by it? Only your actions can determine works. your reward or punishment. We shall Same serve. concept. We shall be embraced. We do like cloud kill. And I also, another thing that I did is I looked through our... Um, Yeah, I look through our rolls to see what Gale can do here. Like we could just cast like confusion on all these guys over here. I kind of want to do that. Probably do that. Right, I think we're ready to get started and test out a few different. <laughs> That's good positioning for the ghouls though. Let's go ahead and make a save right here. I don't want to walk the whole way. We can actually set up people pretty well, can't we? We can... Huh, we can just like walk around freely. Okay, well, in that case... <clears throat> the thing went to expediently get rid of these guys back here. Shadow Heart here. 
Yep, I think that will work. You have blink on fail. Okay, let's go. Let's just overwrite that. There we go. Ready to go. Uh, is this like a bug or something? Show respect, or we shall show you. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys, but I also figured out how to fix the um, Darky Attic Codex or like curse thing. So because it is a curse, I found out that Shadowheart she has like you know anti-curse things. So you uh, you just cure the curse and it's permanent. Okay, I guess this isn't gonna work. Just out of view. Guess we just uh. Go for it, I think. How do we want to start the battle? Yeah, was right. Probably want to start magic. the battle with Gale using infusion. I think, at least. Let's get it. Sanctuary, no problem. Here we go again. Big damage. Well, we're handily destroying their back line. Immune to glad kill. Oh, that's perfect. Sharon knows your fears and has twisted its form into one of them. Whatever. Okay, spiritual weapon. Let's go with the trident. <clears throat> and I think she has a sanctuary block. Born into darkness, cannot be blinded. Stonelight sensitivity, here it is. Creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and perception checks that rely on sight. So. I don't know if that worked. Sixteen damage. Yeah. Yes, sir. Get that damage off. Okay, we're not gonna let him do that. Darkness is so OP. Lady Shah's will shall be done. Sure as night shall fall. Not good. Lady Shah's will shall be done. Her can... foes shall perish. The Dark Lady's foes must die. 
Maybe we shouldn't have left Gale over here. So he can just, um, dash out the so he be fine. We'll just use Misty Step on him. These guys were confused. Oh, is confusion a concentration spell? I don't understand why this doesn't go down a level. Coalesce the air in a fragrant but vicious whirlwind that restrains those within. Okay, what does that do? Can't move. Attack rolls against the affected entity have attack at advantage. Okay. If they can just concentration. Or not concentration, they can just save it. I wonder how the sunlight thing works. They put Misty up here, so... Odd Kill's going to affect Gale as well. That's to... Damn, that darkness is like really annoying. wonder who... I, I should pay attention to like who puts the darkness down. I think it was her. Victory awaits. to a safer location. I am fury. I am death. I think these guys just died at cloud kill, so I think I just save her action surge for another time. Blood comes easy these days. She's good. Uh, 
Let's see here. I could just shoot it away. Get rid of that darkness. Shadowheart do here. I don't really want her to get up close to anybody. These guys die, they blow up. So it's like that's kind of like their main use anyway. Yeah. We should probably heal herself, Shadow Heart. He's running. Classic spear, spear. No counterspell. Darkness is so broken. Learn from our mistakes. For the lady of loss. Just suicided. It is 9 to 32 damage with a scimitar. They're like targeting Shadowheart. I don't know if that's like... Cloud Kill is broken. Like, actually broken.
through. Ah, right. When they polymorph, they... Time to press ahead. <clears throat> they get a second health. I forgot about that. For Druids, that is. Yeah, Mr. Archos. Okay, she is not bone chilled, so she can heal herself. She's a big potion, and she's chilling again. Pretty sure this will hit both of them. Very nice. I think we can do it without using the freaking the rune powder bomb. This is this is a significantly cleaner battle. Just have to use the tools to use the tools before just. Close. Having a bunch of like extra meat bags is obviously really helpful. And then clock is just OP. Don't Fails to that like full HP essentially. Like, what is this? I don't understand. It doesn't go down. I think this is like, um, kind of like they they missed it when they were testing it, but I don't know. Because I feel like in other parts of the game, like we have been able to, um, like go, like move, put the wall down, like vertically and use spells vertically. I was just playing a different game. <laughs> oh, she's just oh, she's knocked out. So you can't even kill her. Still breathing, despite everything. <laughs> I was actually just, just playing a different game. Swoogity, give me all of your ludity. <laughs> oh, I didn't even use a divine intervention. Which is probably... I was going to use the uh, Sunder, but turns out we didn't really need to do that. Cloud kill is honestly, in my opinion, the most uh, most um, useful spell. What does drunk do to them? Disadvantage on dexterity and charisma checks. Moonbeam. Three to thirty damage per turn on a successful save. They still take half damage. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Yikers. Damn, this Koreska's favor is actually really coming in clutch. You've made a 
grave mistake. Here we go. Get it. Escape the deal. Okay, we already got that one. Enter the Chamber of Lost and must gain entry to the Chamber of Lost where Shadowheart's parents are being held captive. Dude, we freaking Something old those here. kids. We should just go around and loot everybody. Seek and you shall find me. No time to rest. <sighs> up, up. <sighs> should mind my step. Only a patriarch's loss can open this door. What does that mean? Loss of status? Well, patriarch's loss means they lost their dad. Did you move something, Shadowheart? Because I'm pretty sure that Riot did. Having all the elixirs and everything, so I'm, I imagine that that was like a little of a, a little bit of a taste of Let's have a look. what the hardest difficulty, like playing this game on Tactician, would be like. But then you have to do that with like a lot of fights, so I can imagine. That you end up just getting like completely screwed over because you don't have like infinite resources. I'll take that. That's a pretty fun fight, though. I'm glad that we were able to do it without the without using the rune powder bomb. And I'm pretty sure, I'm very confident that we didn't cheese anything. Like, we definitely used all the tools that were at our disposal. Let's make a save there. Finish it. Send me to Lady Shah's embrace. She still has answers I need. <laughs> Make it quick. My parents. Where are they? So blunt. Have you forgotten all the interrogation techniques I taught you? Where is the finesse? Answer me! They are right through that door in the Chamber of Loss. Where they have been all along. You saw them many times. Only we made you forget. But they didn't forget. They watched as we molded you. They watched. They wept. They bled. Often at your hand. It may not be a happy reunion. But it will be a memorable one. She's just trying to rally you up. I know. But she's not lying. She made me in her image. Why? Why me? Why all this effort? Lady Shah commanded me. And I obeyed. I do not question. I merely act as she wills me to. I had an enclave in Waterdeep, you know. Much grander than this. Shah ordered me to raise it. Kill all who followed me. Claim they betrayed me. When in fact, I slew those who showed nothing but loyalty. Shah had me do that. And I did. To cover my tracks. To usher in you. What are you talking about? You became my mission. To take a child of Salunas and turn her over to Lady Shah. 
to show that all light fades and darkness will prevail in the end. All this was to make you into what the Dark Lady needed you to be. The planning, the training, those deaths in Waterdeep. It was all to groom you to replace me at her right-hand side. And still you threw it away! Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> I... Now, I want to go back and do Shadow Hearts quest line. You know, um... And actually follow through with what... Like, following the path of Char. This game, like, it just... It makes you want to go back and do games differently. I, I love that. We're still seeing that stuff in Act 3. Because <clears throat> that's where, like, all of the endings are. Like, all of your actions from Act 1 to 2, all the way carrying over to the end of the game. And then once you get to the end of the game, it's just so beautifully written. Because, like... While you're in Act 1 and 2, you're kind of just like, oh man, like, it would be cool if I did, like, a monk build, or you're you're thinking about, you know, your combat-wise, you know, you're gonna, that's how you're going to change your gameplay. But when you get to Act 3, you start seeing the consequences of all of your actions throughout the game, and then that's when normally I think players would be like, oh man, at least for me, when I get towards the end, towards, towards the end of an RPG, or towards the end of any game I that's when I kind of start wanting to just end the playthrough but with this game it's kind of like I'm not so much excited to end the playthrough as so much as I am to start again and see what I can change and what I can do differently in terms of story decisions very very well written um, decisions that you have to make what do you want to do Shadowheart? I want to see my parents. And I don't care what happens to this one. She's been in my head long enough already. Do what you like. I know you'll choose well. What are you doing? Come back and finish this yourself. You owe me that. Let go, mother. Embrace loss. Ooh. Shadow Heart's not killing her. I think we'll just leave her to wallow in her sorrows. That's I think that's even harsher than allowing her to just die. Go. If you're wise, you'll vanish. I uh, am a dead. Then we should have. Oh, and then we should have Lazel kill her. Aluve. Does she teleport away, or do we see her walking away? We should have Lazel kill her, dude. Because Lazel doesn't give a shit. Show no mercy. <laughs> ah, perfect. I actually really like that. And she gets an inspiration from it, as I kind of suspected that she would. Because let's face it, Lazel and Shadowheart are besties now. Uh, uh. And we get all our stuff. I mean, why would we not kill her? Warding Bond as a... Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. What's next, I wonder. Look at this. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction, dealing two to eight force damage. It's a better shield bash. You gain advantage on saving throws against spells. Spell attack rolls have disadvantage. Reflective shell, which is a new ability that she gets. Reflective shell enveloped you reflects any projectiles targeted you. And then you get warding bond, which is amazing. Oh, that's amazing. So that the wear strength to 18, the enchantment has no effect if the strength score is higher without it. Yeah, we don't need that. Perfect. Now Shadowheart's like super decked out. See, look at this. I had I even had 
this uh, elixir of giant strength, which I was going to use to have Lazelle take her strength up to 27. Right now she has 18. So I was going to take her strength up to 27 and then have her just chuck the rune powder bomb into the middle of the room. And then I'm just going to have Gale blow it up. Um, and that that, that was kind of that was going to be the plan, road ahead. but it was kind of unnecessary. I wonder what the next move is. That's uh, let's equip these new spells that we got here. Oh, we don't have mind sanctuary down. Could have used this too. Now we have this warding bond, so we can take off warding bond from here and then give her a different spell. They like, I don't know. I don't, I don't really use this, but we can put it in. I was using, I was having Laza or Shadowheart use the E, plus another level 2 spell slot. Oh wait, that's actually really good. I didn't even realize that. You can have her have the level two, extra level 2 spell slot, and then she can use it, and then swap to a different, um, swap to a different amulet. Would have been nice to know a while ago. And it doesn't use a level two spell slot. That's great. That is fantastic. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. <clears throat> Wonder if the gods are watching. No. Me. I guess this door is open now. Only a patriarch's loss can open this door. Oh no. I think we'll go ahead and actually end the episode there, and then we'll go ahead and continue to explore the sanctuary um, in the next episode. Maybe I'll go like solo stuff in between because uh, I just want to make sure continuity is good. So we'll go ahead and end there a little bit early. Hope you guys enjoyed that boss fight. Where, I, Yeah, I guess it was a boss fight. I, I really had fun and the planning of it was really interesting. So maybe for the next playthrough of the game, I'll probably I might play in Tactician. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And I hope you guys have a great day.